I teach uh, entertainment marketing and strategic brand management. And in entertainment marketing, we focus primarily on music, television, film, and sports. And what we do is we look at basic industry dynamics uh, in each of these fields, how people have historically made marketing decisions in these fields, and how students might sort of take some of the literature that we've looked at and case studies that we've done in class to make possibly more creative or more strategic decisions moving forward. I think uh, our faculty have varied and interesting backgrounds, and I think that lends itself to a pretty dynamic uh, educational experience in the classroom for our students. So we have a variety of people who come from creative backgrounds, but also from more sort of strategy-oriented backgrounds. So I think our students, when they're looking at something like entertainment marketing, get the benefit of seeing how creative people think and also how sort of business side strategy people think. So I think we end up graduating students who are able to be good translators in different companies where most of the employees have grown up in one tradition or another. In entertainment marketing, uh, we look at industry dynamics in music, television, film, and sports. Uh, we look at things like if you have you know, a roster of three artists, but you only have the time and money to be able to work two of them, which one should we drop and why? We might do the same thing with television programs to sort of say, look, this one has momentum, this one's declining, this is what our brand looks like moving forward. What you know, sort of rationalization should we make to keep one on the air or drop it? Uh, my book is called Gender Branding and the Modern Music Industry, the Social Construction of Female Pop popular music stars. I use it in my entertainment marketing class to sort of show the reductive way uh, in which female pop stars are brought to market. Um, the book uh, does in-depth interviews with music industry executives to sort of talk about uh, what happens to these women as they're sort of put into uh, ever more restrictive packages. Um, it looks at brand theory, it looks at communication theory, it looks at sociological theory, and what I do in class is sort of show students how complicated marketing really is. It's not okay to just know how to do a marketing plan. We have to be able to sort of think in ways that lead culture, lead messaging that will resonate in culture. I think uh, students that study in our particular IMC program get the benefit of a number of people who have been on creative sides of the industry, but also in sort of strategic sort of business operation sides of the industry. So um, given the professor's varied backgrounds, the students have access to those backgrounds and ultimately learn both sides in a way that I think most students in most programs don't. So I think the real benefit to our students is that they come out and they can enter a workplace and sort of be a translator between the creative side and the strategic side in a way that a lot of employees can't because most of them have grown up in one tradition or another.